teach you how to do the, this really powerful kick called the spinning hook kick. Now, whenever you, whenever you do the spinning hook kick, the one thing you have to make sure is that you get your eyes around because you have to see the target. If you don't see the target, you ain't gonna hit nothing. Or if you if you don't look at the target, you could end up with this as a result. You spin, but your leg stays your 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 head stays there and your leg just goes around and hits whatever it hits. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to take it in steps and you want to take those steps and merge them together to form one smooth uh, quick kick. So here, the steps to a spin hook kick. First of all, you have to know that you're hitting spin hook kick with your heel, with the back of your heel this way. You know, it's not, it's, once that lands, it's not a kick to be nice with, you know? If you want to be nice with the kick, point your toes down and land it with your, with your toes. But if you're going for it, all heel. And look at this again. That's technique, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he caught him with the foot. That's why Mike Rio was able to absorb it, because it was the slapping part of the foot and the toes. If he caught him with the heel, Mike Rio might still be unconscious. So anyway, the one thing you have to do is you have to turn from here, from spotting here, to spotting here. So you gotta go from spotting, you have to spin, you turn your head, and spot. This is when your leg comes up, like you bend your knee, almost as if you're gonna do a back side kick, but when it comes up, instead of a back side kick going straight out, it goes out this way, and it just hooks. So here, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that Everything comes around, and then this happens, okay? Once you get into it, once you get into it, you don't have to do, you merge those steps. So instead of here, this being one, and then two, and then three, you know what I mean? As opposed to doing that, you're going to take all those steps, and you're not going to slow down your turn to make that eye contact, you're gonna make that eye contact, but you're gonna you're gonna blend it all into one step, one and two. So here, you're gonna more like once you get used to spotting, you're going to start just spinning your body quick as possible to get that momentum. Okay, so spin, then bring it up and hit. The speed of the kick is gonna depend on the speed of everything else. The speed you spin your body with, it's, it's gonna uncoil and that kick's gonna come out fast as possible and strong. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure everything comes around, you see it, and then you hit it, okay? Everything comes around, you see it, then you hit it. You don't wanna have your body left behind like that because then the kick is not going to be as strong as possible because as your foot is trying to go this way your body is going this way so you're splitting that when you move all the way in everything towards that pad it's going to be a much quicker a much stronger kick okay so that's pretty much how you do a spin hook kick make sure your eyes are first and then the kick comes out afterwards make sure you strike with your heel all right so practice this over and over and over again it's not something to where you can practice really hard for like you know a whole day even, or two days and get right this process takes time because after you learn the kick you gotta learn how to land the kick okay because what good is a kick if you don't know how to land it you know what I mean what good is a how good is a book or what good is knowing the alphabet if you, uh, you know, can't read a book? Or, yeah, anyway, that's all I got for you. That's a spin hook kick. Practice it. Learn it. Use it. Peace.